Hello and welcome along and uh, welcome back to another vlog from Cumber Contracting with me, Jamie. Um, I'm currently heading up to um, uh, Mercury uh, Poultry Farm uh, to drop this Manitou off. Uh, <coughs> after that, I'm going to go and join uh, Thomas at, uh, up at uh, the field nearest the shop um, where he's, he's up there with Dave. And what they're doing is, uh, is we're doing a whole load of silage today. So we've got some grass silage uh, and we've got some corn silage to do. Uh, so, uh, yeah, Dave's got up there with uh, with my trailer as well. So they've got two tra two silage trailers up there. And uh, and he and uh, Thomas are going to get started uh, up, around, uh, up around there. And then I'm going to, once I've dropped this off, woo, with Gav. Uh, I am gonna, I'm gonna go and uh, and join them and uh, and help out. Uh, so we've got we've got a fair amount of silage to get done today. Uh, so there should be a good amount. Uh, and you can see the windmills next to the poultry farm at the moment. So that's all good. Wow, my little uh, my little T6 here is uh, struggling a little bit up this hill, but it's all good. There we go. Oh wow, you can hear those windmills. Because we had that uh, last vlog I had when uh, we're transporting the flower. Alright, head around this way, and Gav is waiting for me up here. Somewhere, I think. And uh, they are around the back, I think. Yeah, there they are. A silage, uh, silage pit is around the back here. I'm just going to drop it off and, and run. He's, uh, I don't know if he'll even see him to be honest, uh, but he will. Uh, he will then be able to get on with this job. <laughs> there we go. And, uh, I'm do my trailer. Oh, I haven't got that. Why aren't those unclipping? There we go. Get the other one. Like so. And we'll just jump into the Mana 2 here. Start her up and... Uh, and get her off our trailer. There we go. That's got it. So we'll just park this over here. We we'll just park this over here. There's Gav. Uh, we'll give him a quick wave, and uh, and we're gonna just drop this trailer off here. Uh, actually, we'll put this a little bit more out of the way. I think. There we are, and that comes up. There we go. And if we, uh, yeah, we can then just back this out of the way. Over this way. Uh, probably down the side of the manure heap is the best place for us to put it. So it's very nicely out of our way. Quite difficult to get this round. Right, so there we go. That is down the side. Oh, no. Even now I've not got it, quite got it right. There we go. That's got it. So that is down the side. We will unhitch that. There we go. And away we go. Uh, right, and we will head down to the field. And, uh, and we will pick up with... Um, with uh, Thomas and uh, get cracking. In fact, I think I can see my silage trailer. In fact, yeah, here we go. So I was gonna, I was gonna cut uh, the vlog at that point, but you can see all the grass work we need to do today.
Hey Tom, I've dropped off the Manor 2 and I'm on my way to the field. Good stuff, because you're going to see Dave coming past you very soon. He's already fine. Oh yeah, wow, that's quick. Yeah, this is a bigger swath and a bigger yield than I thought it was ever going to be. So, uh, ideally I think a third trailer would have been good, but we'll have to, this is the furthest away we're going to be, so we'll be a bit quicker once we get to this point. Well, I am all hooked up and uh, just got to find you on the field now. You'll find me in the top corner. I was Gav doing with the Manitou. Is he alright? Yeah, it seemed to be alright. I gave him a nod as I dropped it off and uh, and yeah, he seemed to be doing well. Uh, inside track or outside track? Where do you want me? Um, do you know what? You can probably go outside now. I think the hardest part to pass with the telegraph poles and the trees, so we should be good. You can stay on my left hand. Yep, there we go. Perfect. I was just saying as well, I've got another job coming through for some forage of ours. We've got a bit of a trip for it, but it should be worthwhile in the next week or so. Excellent. That's awesome. No, well, that'll, uh, that'll keep us going with this harvester quite nicely. Exactly, yeah, and what with all the maize we're going to have around here as well, it should be great. Alright, so it's keeping myself... These uh, the spots are like mountains, but it's, this John Deere is still flying through it there. It's getting a bit bumpy here, but it's still fine. These are, these are huge swats. Really good yield off this grass. Oak tree. There you go. You alright there? Yeah, I'm going to have to go the other side of it. I think a bit of uh, nifty work on your part with the uh, with the um, pipe, I think, might be in order. Alrighty, I got you. Oh, I can see uh, Dave coming back down now, so we should cool. be good. Cool. I was going to say, I think I'm full, so uh, I'm going to head off and tip this. All right, there it goes, uh, Jamie, and I think I can just see. Right, so we're heading back up to the poultry farm. We'll get this tipped, and uh, and that will, uh, yeah, and then Gab will be able to get this. Uh, nicely um, leveled Some... and set up. I don't know about you, Jamie, but I'm really loving silage season already. Oh, yeah. It's a great time of year. I love carting on this. And that's a beast of a, uh, of a harvester we've got as well. It's just colossal. I thought it might be a bit too much when we started, but with everything we get coming through here, we should be all right. Well, this is... if all the windrows are going to look like this mountain as well. I was saying that there, there seems to be a good uh, a good amount of uh, stuff that people need uh, doing around the um, the Mercury uh, estate. Oh yeah, definitely. Hopefully that'll continue as well. We've kind of lucked out here a bit. Well, it's quite good with so many uh, people sort of moving in and taking over um, various bits of the estate. It's uh, it's quite useful for us to be about, really, while they're all getting established. Oh, for sure, and hopefully that'll continue once they once they get themselves in. Yeah, very much. I think there's going to be plenty of work around here. I don't think I have enough weight on the front of my tractor. Ooh, it's a little bit light on the front end. It's a little bit light on the front end. Maneuvering it is a pay. <clears throat> Should have used the Massey. I bet the tractor all around. <laughs> Out of curiosity, Jamie, how far away are you? Because uh, Dave's on his way back. Uh, it took me a little while to back this trailer up, so I'm currently tipping out at the moment. I will be with you momentarily. There 
There we go, just checking the whole thing's empty and we can get back down to the field. On my way. Here we go. I thought I just saw a flash of yellow coming in. You're going to have a lot more room to move in now we've got that first headland up. Oh yeah. I got a little bit slippy on this hill beforehand. I was struggling a little bit up here. Well, um, I, I had a bit of a struggle last time, but we only we were only on sort of the top bit. How are these trailers actually? I've never used one when it's got the full of silage in there. Is it a good? Does it handle well enough? It was it wasn't too bad until I got up to the uh, until I started trying to reverse it into the uh, silage clamp. Uh, as soon as I was doing that, um, the the Basically, I lost all manoeuvrability. Okay, got a little bit tight around that tree there. There we go. Ah. Oh, I think I've just scratched off the paint on the roof. Ooh. Don't stay up there though. That's fine. Yeah, that's that's the thing. No one's no one's gonna look at the top of the roof. <laughs> Unless I get my drone out at any point, then I'll have to I'll make sure the polish is all up before I... Ah, she's filling up nicely at the moment. Excellent. That was a sharp corner there. I had to just take a cut into it. And, uh, I don't think you're going to be too long to your way again. I can just see the Dave's tipping at the moment. Ah. Well, there's plenty of space left in the trailer. Good. Once we get into that second field there, we, it won't take too long at all. We'll fly. Yeah, exactly. Right, we're up into the gratings now. I think I'm full. You are indeed. Off you go. Okay, back up to Mercury Poultry Farm. And uh, we'll get this tipped. And hopefully, we can get this uh, round. Uh, Gav is doing a very nice job there. Oh, somebody's shooting. Odd time of year. Either that or that was something backfiring. And that better not be this tractor. Ooh. Not a huge amount of space to turn around here. Especially with this tractor. Uh, with the weight that we've got on this trailer. Right, let's get in here. Hoping I'm far enough over. Yeah, I am. That's good. Only just, again, hugging this, uh, hugging the side. Back right into the pile. There we go. Nice big amount of uh, of silage or of grass we're putting in here. There we are. That's got it. Let's head back down and uh, and go join uh, Thomas back at the field. 
I was a little bit more efficient in my tipping that time. Ah, you two guys have got it nailed down now, it looks like. Finally passed that blooming tree on the headland there. That was causing me a few issues, but we're on to the almost the straight and narrow. Excellent. Oh, okay, it's that gonna was that old plane again. It's gonna be fun going up and down these rows. Yeah, it's a little bit greasy on the surface there, so when we go down in particular, uh, you might want to watch out you don't get pushed by the trailer. Right, there we go. Uh, Jamie, when you get to the end of this road, do you want to just pull back and I'll loop around and get onto that headland? Okay. Right, so bring that round. Get in the range of his pipe again. There you go. What teamwork? Oh yeah. Smooth. <laughs> <laughs> like Torval and Dean. What I think I might do here as well, I'll speak to the Lando and the, and the new farmer coming and see if they want us to put any fertilizer on here, like a second cut of hay or something. Because uh, it's still quite early in the year, they can definitely get something off of you. Yeah, yeah, I think that I think that would do this uh, this good. I mean, it's got a mad it's got a mad yield already, of course. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, I think I might be getting full. Yeah, you're good. You get out of here. Okie doke. See you in a bit. Right. I'll Off give you one thing. That New Holland looks pretty good on the uh, on the yellow brown brown. However you like. Them. Blue, blue and yellow tends to go quite nicely together. Almost ni almost as nice as uh, green and yellow. That is very true. So back up to farm. I'm going to see if I can actually um, reverse this better this time. See if it will. Uh, see if we can do it from round here. Of course, it's not great for reversing, but uh, we'll see how we go. We're getting better at this with every time we do it. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to not destroy uh, the client's crop. Because uh, we've been catching it a little bit. Now that, I think, has gone out a lot better. Suddenly got space, whoop, on this side. There we go, straight back. Well, it's got it. Right, and tip. And that's in there nicely. And, uh, and yeah, once we've got this tipped out, we can head straight back. And there we are. Back we go, and that will come down nicely. And uh, yeah, back off to the field. So it's good that it's a nice little trip, sort of straight down the roadway here. Uh, works uh, works really well for keeping uh, for keeping the forage harvester going. And there we go, back to the field. Jamie, you're getting even quicker over there. I found a better way to uh, to reverse up and uh, and tip. Nice. If I was to have one criticism about this forager, the horn is pathetic. Yeah. Oh wow, yeah, I can hardly hear that. When you've got the thresher going on here and it's loud, it's the last thing you want is a, it sounds like a mouse. Yeah, the one on this isn't too bad. The ones, the ones on the JCBs are pretty cool because uh, certainly the older ones sound like a you know full-on truck horn. 
God, this is slippery going down this slope. There we go. Uh, I think we're about half. Yeah, there's a bit of a grease there, right? You're kind of slipping down a bit. Oh, gotcha. Very difficult to make, you know, a lot of fun trying to make sure that the trailer doesn't push me down the slope. It's just going to get better and better as I, uh, as I'm, uh, the fuller I get. Yeah, the more weight you've got behind you. Yeah. This is an amazing amount of, uh, silage off here. Well, not silage of, uh, the grass off here. I, I'm amazed by the, uh, the height of these, uh, these hills. All done. Right, so back up to the farm and uh, and get this tipped. Uh, right, so that's where we are going to leave today's uh, vlog. Um, I hope you have all enjoyed. Uh, that's where we're going to leave today's vlog. I hope you've all enjoyed this look at our uh, at the silage job, uh, and uh, and I hope that uh, you have enjoyed this video. So uh, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for the latest videos from Virtual Farmer and Simulation of the Nation, please subscribe to the channels and ring that bell. And we will see you next time. Goodbye.